My name is Margaret Harrison. Um, I travelled uh, to the United States in 1973 and I, I had an occupation as a re result of my Churchill Fellowship. Um, I never expected to have a career, but suddenly I did have one and it's lasted 25 years and has been fantastic. So that was as director, or well, founder and director of Homestart, a, a national charity. At the time of my fellowship or before, I had been doing voluntary work in Leicester in children's homes, particularly while our own three children were young. And uh, my role was to find voluntary volunteer aunts and uncles to support children who were already in the care of the local authority. And um, I found that was a lovely job to have because people were very enthusiastic about giving something to children in care. But many of those volunteers said to me, Margaret, if only we could have supported the whole family before it broke down, our time could have been better spent. And that was one of the things that really encouraged me to think about how can we keep families together and prevent breakdown and break up. I heard about the Travelling Fellowship through the Deputy Director of Social Services um, at the time, John Dossett Davis. He had just been on one. And that particular year, in 1973, they had a category for voluntary social workers. And he said, Margaret, this is just made for you. I, I suggest you apply to the Churchill Trust for a Travelling Fellowship. And I thought, who, me? I really am just a mother. I used to be a secretary, and now I'm just a mother. So what could I possibly contribute to anybody or anything? And uh, he said, just go and be interviewed and uh, see what you'd like to do. My specific aim was to look at Head Start, which was a programme set up in, under the Johnson administration to take children from deprived backgrounds and give them a head start before formal schooling began. So I really wanted to learn about their families, about their needs and why they were deprived and what could be done. When I was interviewed, that went pretty well, but at the end the, the question was, will you be prepared to come back to this country and lecture and write reports? And I said, well, I can write reports, but I could never, ever lecture. And Joyce Grenfell was on the committee, and she just leaned forward and squeezed my hand and said, but Margaret, it's just a question of sharing, isn't it, with others? So ever since that, I've come back and I've been sharing with others about what families and parents and children need. The Churchill Travelling Fellowship gave me the confidence and the credibility to come back to this country and start something. Whereas before I was just Margaret Harrison, secretary and mother, and wife of course, um, and yet when I came back suddenly I could talk to social workers, health visitors, educators, marriage guidance counsellors, probation officers and talk about the necessity to keep families together, preventing them to break, from breaking down. And suddenly they, they believed in me, I had credit, credibility, so that's what the Churchill Trust uh, did for me. I started a small home start scheme in Leicester, which seemed to be very successful. The parents loved it, the professionals loved it. And then suddenly other areas of the United Kingdom wanted to emulate that. And we found a very simple way of um, copying uh, what we were doing and replicating it in different areas. And so, very gradually over the next 20 years, Homestart began in over 300 locations throughout the United Kingdom, each locally based, locally funded, locally managed, but actually all franchised from the central scheme in Leicester. I was invited to give talks in Canada, Hungary, Australia, Israel, the Netherlands, Norway, Southern Ireland, and that those uh, first letters form the word chains. That's how I remember those countries so well. And I feel that we are all linked. And all of those adopted and adap adapted the home start approach. It's really quite impossible to say how many people have benefited from home start. But at the moment in the UK, there are about 20,000 volunteers working each year um, with probably 40 or 50,000 families. And um, around the world, it's probably exactly the same number as well at the moment, but always new countries beginning. So uh, the effect is um, it's, it's infectious. 
the whole idea, of course, of a church or fellowship is not only that it benefits the individual person, but that when they come back to this country, they can share uh, what they've learned and perhaps adapt it and create something that is of benefit to this country. I think that's amazingly um, an amazing opportunity. I think other people thinking of applying for a fellowship should be told to just go for it because it is the most amazing opportunity. It's the chance of a lifetime, literally. You can choose where you want to go. It's fully funded, fully supported by the Trust, and it just opens up so many opportunities. Winston Churchill himself, I always think, was a leader from the front. And to me, the, the legacy that now he's um, left the opportunity for people to contribute to their communities is amazing. So he led the nation from the front and now it's back to individual communities to actually help the individual people there. He had vision, he had focus, um, he had a tremendous impact, but he was very, very human. He was vulnerable, he was strong, um, he was not um, unprepared to show his weaknesses and to me that creates a whole human being. He was pretty amazing.